Substitute show and tell go! Okay. So, I'm Paul. I like to hack keyboards. And this is Neotype. The 10 key version of Neotype that has been multiple iterations. Basically, the problem I've been looking to solve is how do I make typing more efficient? And by more efficient, I mean like, how can we get typing up to a point where it's kind of like talking? And I know for some people it's almost at that speed. But for most people, they type pretty slow. Actually, on average, I think people type around, I think it's about 25 to 35 words a minute, which is pretty slow. You're still thinking about words in terms of characters instead of words. So anyways, to get to what Neotype is, Neotype is my sort of experiment zone to figure out, you know, where, what are the problems, here's something that can help me, here's my project that helps me sort of figure out uh, what, what ideas are really a solution to a problem and what ideas are just crappy ideas. Okay, so we got 10 keys. And I have shown this on the show and tell before, but just a brief recap. Multiple keys get different letters. Oh, 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 we're in terminal mode. One second, I'm gonna put it out of terminal mode. You can hold down these keys to get macros. And I just activated one of them that turns off terminal mode, which I'll show in a little bit. Um, but basically you've got multiple one letter combinations and you've got a little mnemonic there, another's. And I can press these two keys together. So here's a chord right here. And bam, and you get enter. So there's also space and backspace. So I don't know, you can't really see the cursor all that well, but the cursor moves forward and then moves backwards. A little glare. Oh, there we go, the glare. You can see my reflection, but there's the glare. Now, so other chords you can use to get letters. So uh, two right here with these two, these two fingers here. You get J. I, U, P, and like the biggest chord is an M. I had used Braille, but Braille has some pretty large chords and they're hard to remember. So I made my own layout here, which is very symmetrical and it, it's at least easier for me to remember. I've been steadily improving with this over the past few weeks since I built it. Um, I start at like seven words a minute and I've gotten about 25 words a minute. So I got to the point where typing out sentences like, like, hey, and you notice you hold. That was a little hold to get a capital letter. Hey, folks. Okay, yes. Hey, folks. So, you know. I can type sentences relatively quickly. It's about half this my regular typing speed, but um, it's it's pretty good for a couple weeks of learning. Uh, some of the other features with this, you'll notice you're hearing this little feedback. And those are little pager motors. So I use the AW the the Adafruit PWM shield to drive all these little pager motors. Actually, it also uses a Darlington array, and the that's all. Technical detail, but you know these little pager motor motors give you feedback when you press a legitimate key. And there was a double click of that there too. Um, another thing, double click A turned into a one, so you can get all your numbers: two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay. That's one feature. I'm not sure double click was all that useful to add. I mean, a lot of times, let's say you wanted an O, you could accidentally get a three, so you'd be typing book, <laughs> you know, and it it doesn't work all that well. Um, you know, that's something I've learned that you know, eh, you know, double clicks can give you more combinations of things to do, but wasn't necessarily useful. Back to the pager motors. So they can independently notify you of a chord. In fact, I've got a little hinting mode right here. So if you hold down H, it will start hinting all the letters. I'm not pressing anything, but it's hinting all the letters, okay? And you could like slow that down a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna slow that down. So I just change the speed. 
And I think that's the fastest speed. Let's turn the speed down a little bit. So now it's really slow and indicating which letters are which keys. Yeah, yeah, that's really slow. I'm gonna speed it up a little bit. Speed that up a little bit. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, and you can interrupt it, bam, and it interrupts it. And final feature, let's go on this one really quick. This is, as far as I know, the world's first Arduino-based haptic computer. So if you hold down on the T, which I kind of showed you before, you activate a macro mode. Now we're in the terminal, and I could do something like print a working directory. So P, W, D. If you're familiar with Linux, you might uh, be familiar with this. And I'm um, root at Bob. Bob is the name of my Arduino Yoon. And, um, hey, you can do a lot of things on there. Now, it does sort of, there's, there's some cruff that I have to take out. Like, it sort of fed back the backspace character, and you'll see that it's feeding back, you know, all things that I got to fix. LS, you know, you print out what's in that working directory. Do, 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 do. And if I want to stop all this, I can just get out of the terminal by holding... I held the T, got out of the terminal. Swift key kind of gave me a few extra tidbits there. Um, there are a lot more. If you're interested in this project, like building this, I've tried to make the code portable to other Arduinos like the Uno and the Leonardo. Um, feel free to contact me and um, I'll see if I can help you get started. I mean, it would be fun just to uh, build just with the um, the buttons, never mind the pagers. The pagers I found, it is a really great feature, but um, they don't, it's so, sometimes hard to distinguish which key you're getting, uh, especially at the speeds I was just showing you at, even though the speeds are adjustable. You gotta really get used to it. It would be better if I use some sort of uh, linear actuating uh, pager that give you a little more direct sensation. But you know, that's basically my project. Um, hopefully this doesn't run too long, but thank you, bye.